Senator Peters, I want to ask you about the debt ceiling. We came in this hour with a clip of Senator Ted Cruz, your Republican colleague, putting his hand over his chest, deeply concerned mm -hmm. about deeply uh, the acuity of, of President Biden. Um, but the issue here is the debt ceiling and what Republicans have said they're going to hold up to extract some spending cuts. That's coming from Kevin McCarthy uh, at the top of the House and other Republicans as well. The White House and you as Democrats have said this is not a negotiation. This is pro forma. This is something we do. We can talk about the budget in a separate conversation if you want to. But that's not flying with Republicans. So where does this end? Is there a chance the United States defaults? Well, we got to do everything we can to make sure that doesn't happen. Uh, obviously, default uh, is catastrophic uh, if that occurs. We we heard the Federal Reserve Chair say that it's unbelievable we're even talking about a possible default uh, as something that the United States would not pay its bills. It makes no sense, which is why we should not be uh, talking about whether or not default. Basically, the Republicans uh, are ex extracting uh, a hostage here, which is the American economy. And should there be a default, you're going to have people's retirement savings are going to get hit. You're going to see interest uh, increased uh, interest uh, costs uh, for uh, for the taxpayers, as well as costs for mortgages and, and cars. Uh, it has major impact on families uh, across the country. And uh, we, we certainly uh, will, uh, through the appropriations process and the budget process, talk about how we spend money and how we can reduce uh, the deficit uh, when we're in the appropriations process. But the debt ceiling is not something uh, that should ever be debated. There should never be a discussion of default. It's basically a default on the American people if the Republicans continue to go down that path. Uh, and we've got to stand firm uh, and make sure that that doesn't happen. Uh, and certainly uh, the president, I know, will be engaged uh, aggressively next week uh, with Republicans to make it very clear that yeah. default is never an option. So, uh, Senator, is it now likely that the can just gets kicked down the road? several weeks. Um, you know, I mean, it's a ridiculous way to run a country, but is that is that likely now, do you think? Well, we, we, we don't accept that at all. It, it, mm -hmm. Kicking the can down the road is only going to mean you're just extending okay, yeah, the Nobody prices. accepts it. The, no, you, know, the, 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 you, you know, you guys don't, the Republicans don't, but right. isn't that likely what's going to happen? Because I mean, it, unless they solve everything next week. Well, it, 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 it just, just kicks the can. You just continue to have a crisis. And uncertainty also creates cost. I mean, we saw this, we saw this movie play out last time. The Republicans tried to hold the, the economy hostage with it, that it added the cost, billions of dollars of cost, of additional interest costs. It actually increased the deficit because yeah. they're playing with fire with a, with a deficit. It is simply, or with a debt, it's simply mm -hmm. uh, unacceptable. Julia. I just wanted to say from where I sit, it also seems, and I don't know if, David, if you would agree with me, like a national security issue as well. Mm -hmm. You know, when we keep playing chicken with our finances and the dollar, the fact that the dollar is one of the main reserve currencies of the world, uh, people see so that money already and, spent. And, but but that's also right but the fact that you know we're one of the reserve currencies is one of the things that right. makes us rich and uh it, we when we this keep goes precisely you're, you're absolutely and, right this goes to the question that the chinese keep posing mm -hmm. russia to russia you, you you democracies can't get your act in totally. order. You, know, you, right. you can't even run a budget. You know, <laughs> how would the world want, want a, your form of government? And here's a, a, a demonstration case almost. Exactly. You can't really believe that people are uh, holding our, our budget, our financial credibility at risk. I was just I was just watching Stunning. Russian state TV last night, and this you is really one of do watch it. No, no, oh my God! Oh. Mm. Uh, I, I should get hazard pay. <laughs> yes, by, by the way, the clips <laughs> I see it looks very entertaining. It's they a, got the showbiz thing yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. You guys need more like uh, Doctor <laughs> Evil vibes in here. Okay, yeah. all right, thanks. But, but this is one of their main talking points now is that we're on the verge of default, and why are why are we and the world still using the dollar as a reserve currency. Screw that. We should get right. off of that. We should right. use the ruble. You know, but but they're constantly yeah. talking about us as on the verge of default. Jeez. Well, and, and what's so okay funny is, I, know. I no, couldn't do you it. You know, they get up I'm, and you know the, the, they're all standing around and, and they're like, nuke this, nuke this. Exactly. Oh my God! Like, it's like, <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> Julia. Yeah, no, but, but, but you know, it's so. It, like, I guess it's not funny. I guess it's tragic, Senator. Uh, I, I, because I'm old, and go ahead, add it. Mediocre. Uh, old and mediocre. I, I got to Congress in 1994, mm -hmm. and uh, Bob Kerry 
what's the first thing I, he was saying when we were coming in and talking about balancing the budget? We can't kick the can down the road any longer. That can has been kicked well, okay. down the road. It's a long road, I guess. It is a very <laughs> long road since the 1980s. And the thing is, let's just say, I'd say it is a Republican that came to Congress sort of obsessed about fiscal issues. I've seen throughout my lifetime deficits and debt explode when Republicans are in the White House. And when Republicans are in the White House, Republicans on the Hill don't give a damn about deficits. You can go back like to my very mediocre Twitter account and see time and time again during the Trump administration yeah, right. saying, come on, Republicans, do stand up on the deficit. Stand up. They never did. Never did. Never cared about it. No, in, in fact, the deficit increased dramatically uh, in the in the Trump years. Record numbers. It, it, record yeah. numbers in the Trump years. So the deficit went up with the Republicans, and they they passed uh, the debt ceiling uh, exactly. without any question. No. And yet now you have a Democrat. They're going to hold the country hostage, it's... basically saying we're going to blow up the economy if we don't get our way. That is what the Republicans are demanding, and it's simply unacceptable. Democratic Senator Gary Peters of Michigan, thank you. Julia Yaffe, thank you as well. Thank you. We